gravity to calm the way for change. So the uh, poly tunnel is getting more and more overgrown by the day. But we should be close to getting to the end of uh, flowering and um, seeding period for a lot of these plants. Um, we've got some radish here, um, some kale going into flower, some spinach dotted around somewhere, some spinach seeds come in here. Um, we've got some beetroot, some mixed beetroot, some chard, some mixed lettuce. But yeah, it's all just kind of a waiting game at the minute. So we can um, kind of strip it out, dry all the seeds, and get replanting. Um, hopefully just in time for the good weather. We've got some tomatoes coming here. Some that we've planted, some that we've uh, self-seeded from last year. And uh, we've got some fruit coming on, a few of them. Um, but we're just gonna take the first first few flowers off and that's uh, going to encourage the growth in the root system so that's eventually going to give us more fruit So it's the middle of June, um, and yeah, it's not stopped raining, at least for the last few days. Um, we've uh, been watering heavily before that, because we've got a load of uh, um, young plants in, but you can see over the last few days, because we watered before, some of them have uh, been overwatered. And uh, yeah, as healthy as they could be. So yeah, we shouldn't have to water for a while because underneath will be uh, absolutely soaking, and all the mulch is going to hold in the uh, the moisture when the sun comes. But um, we've also, I think the other night we had a small frost. As uh, again, some of the courgettes got caught. Um, some of the potatoes, some of the tomatoes. So yeah, the weather's been a bit, a bit funny this year. As you can see there where it's been caught overnight. Um, but yeah, it's kind of hard to know what to do weather-wise. Uh, we had a big blast of uh, summer heat wave early in spring. Um, so all of our produce went to seed in the polytunnel. Um, and now, yeah, the sun's kind of disappeared, but We've uh, got the netting finally, so that's going to hopefully stop the birds from getting at them. Uh, we've got some purple sprouting broccoli in this bed. Um, but yeah, it seems to be doing the job so far. The only issue, which I think is because we've got wet straw here, um, is the slugs are starting to, to get to them. And obviously when it's dry, it's a lot rougher, so the slugs don't really like venturing on the on the straw but again you can see one there that's been slightly over watered but um maybe it's this little fella where is he? I don't know if you can see that yeah we don't want them so yeah it's been very wet for this time of year um but I keep on planting and i suppose it's good for the uh for the overall moisture of the land um but yeah I'll just keep cracking on replanting we've got loads of spares so anything that we do lose now hopefully we can replace quite quickly um, so yeah, we've got netting on the peas there as well because they could get eaten by the birds. Um, but yeah, 
it's uh, all slowly coming on. We're just waiting for the sun. Another one of the good sides to this pouring rain is filling up the uh, water barrels in the tank. So, yeah, it's better to use rainwater for watering the plants, especially the seedlings. So it's got less chemicals and chlorine and bits in. So yeah, the silver lining. <laughs> and plus the plants are getting a good water. But yeah, it's been a very hit and miss melt for one minute hot. The next minute pouring the brain. But yeah, always take the positives as they say. a bit gloomy um, we've got the chance to start planting a load more seeds so we've got some more monge toot in there um, blush and normal monge toot um, we've got some more tomatoes, onions spring onions um, some flowers, rebecca um, some broccoli, asparagus, yeah, the list goes on, but yeah, basically we're trying to uh, keep a rotation going, so have enough produce to basically once we harvest something and take something out, we can replace it with something else. Um, we're soon, <laughs> it's creeping by, so we're soon going to have to look at the, uh, the winter veg, um, but yeah. As I say, we're uh, replenishing stocks. We've got some cucumbers in there, some more lettuce, some basil, some lemon basil. So yeah, as I say, we're still cracking on with uh, germinating. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get some uh, nicer weather soon. That we can get planting again. One of the biggest pains is uh, pests, or well, nature, should I say. But things trying to steal, steal our food that we've planted. Um, but yeah, we've had problems with birds, um, aphids, uh, moles, slugs. <laughs> the list goes on, but. Yeah, we're starting to get some uh, the yeah the better or should I say the predatory insects into the garden. So you can see we've got a ladybird. I don't know if it'll focus properly, but yeah, we're starting to see a few ladybirds around. So that's a good sign. They yeah uh, they can eat up to I think it's a thousand aphids a week or something like that. So. Um, they're going to help protect the tomato plants and the brassicas uh, which have taken a bit of a beating <laughs> this year as you can see there's uh, another ladybird on this one so we did have a load of kale seeds but um, I believe they're called mealy bugs um, started attacking the, the kale so 
and we started losing a lot of the seed. Although, again, now you can see, I don't know if you can see him, but there's a ladybird dot down there somewhere. I just saw another one on here. So, yeah, hopefully, we're over the uh, pest side of things. We've uh, got some netting to help stop for the, uh, the frost because we still had a frost in June. Um, and also to stop the birds pecking away at the young plants. So, um, yeah, obviously it's, uh, it's nature doing its thing and it's a good sign because obviously we're organic. We're not using any chemicals or anything. So, um, so yeah, they're enjoying the produce as much as we are. But uh, yeah, we obviously expected to lose lose a percentage of it so we planted more than we need but yeah things have been a bit slow so hopefully hopefully now things are starting to pick up Well, found the little culprits that keep digging up all the beds. If, uh, well, you can see by the uh, amount of molehills everywhere. But yeah, they keep going under the beds. So if anyone's got any ideas on uh, how to deter moles, then yeah, let us know. But yeah. They're becoming a bit of an annoyance. Cute, but yeah, an annoyance. As I say, we've uh, had a problem with moles, and um, basically, what they're doing is they're digging under the beds, so the plants are getting so far with the root system, and then they can't get any more because there's a tunnel underneath it. So, we obviously don't want to kill them, and uh, we just want to deter them. Um, so we've got some castor oil um, with some not fairy liquid, we use uh, solvent free um, dishwashing soap and some chilli and apparently that is supposed to send them off elsewhere because the oil gets stuck to their, uh, their coat and they don't like it. So basically we've got that mixture here, castor oil. Um, non-solvent dishwashing soap and some chilli. We've just had about five millilitres, ten millilitres to a gallon of water. And we basically just pour it down the, the tunnels. So each day we're just going by every new one that pops up. We're yeah, pouring the, pouring the solution down there and it seems to be working. Um, and then also I'll show you in a moment but we've uh, put glass bottles in the top of these which um, I'm not sure if there's any information online but I heard it heard it years ago um, but apparently putting a glass bottle with the top off the wind will uh, um, catch it and create uh, the whistling sound and the vibration is supposed to send them away but yeah we're uh, I've noticed that they seem to be less and less every day but yeah they're still here as you can see so yeah, hopefully that's one solution, but we'll see, time will tell. So it's been uh, one extreme to the other this month. Uh, it was pouring with rain, uh, we even had a frost, and now it's roasting. But seems like uh, everything's starting to come through again um, we've lost a few bits um, possibly due to waterlog um, also frost 
pests, but yeah, things are starting to look a bit better. Um, we've got plenty more to keep going in. Um, yeah, we've got about 20, 30 beds roughly to uh, start planting in. We've got a few bits in each bed, but we're going to companion plant. So, um, for example, we've got, um, I think these are Brussels here. Uh, so we're going to plant things in the middle of those to um, basically make use of the space. Um, we've got a couple of the more established beds here. So the lettuces are looking quite nice. So what we don't sell, we'll uh, let go to seed, collect the seed. But yeah, things are looking a bit better towards the end of the month. So it's just a case of uh, keep cracking on and enjoying the sunshine.